Hello friends subscribe to our channel GDC and press the bell icon for more updates. Hello friends, welcome back once again. Today we are going to discuss the synthesis of cimetidine. Cimetidine only is the H2 antagonist. It is the H2 antagonist and cimetidine is the first H2 antagonist which was used. So it is also called as the prototype H2 antagonist. H2 antagonist. I will mention the prototype because this was the first H2 blocker which, which was used. This is mainly used in the ulcer because it reduces the HCL secretion used in the ulcer GERD. Okay. Used in used as anti-ulcer. Inhibit the secretion of the HCL. Now the synthesis of cimetidine. This is a mainly three step reaction. Here what happened? The starting material of the cimetidine synthesis is the imidazole. First we draw the structure of the imidazole. Here we have N, here we have N, here H. Now this is the imidazole. Here we have the 5 methyl C double O C two S five. This is the ethyl five methyl imidazole carboxylate. Okay, ethyl five methyl imidazole carboxylate. Now this ethyl 5 methyl imidazole carboxylate undergoes the reduction in the presence of lithium aluminium hydride lithium aluminium hydride this is used to reduce okay for the reduction purpose and here we will get by the reduction the next intermediate here we get This will be the same. Here we have the CS3 as previous. Now this C double O C2 S5 will be converted into the methanol group. And here we have CH2 OH. Now this intermediate we get. This intermediate undergoes the reaction with amino methyl thiol. Here SH CH2 CH2 NH2 amino ethyl thiol when it reacted then what happened this OH and this H means here this will be removed out in the form of water so here water will be removed that is dehydration process will occur and the next intermediate here we will get that will be and here as such imidazole ring here have the CS3 here have the H and here we will get CH2 as CH2 CH2 NH2 now this new intermediate form here. Now this intermediate reacted with dimethyl. Here we will get N C N. Here we have C S three S H. Here C S three S H. Now this intermediate reacted with the dimethyl 
here we have two methyl group dimethyl and cyano and cyanoid group here n cyano di thiol here we have the two thiol group di thiol imino imino carbonate imino carbonate here when it reacted with this intermediate then what happened here we get and here we have the same imidazole group now here CS3 here CH2 S CH2 CH2 now this NH what happened one molecule of the hydrogen take this SCS3 and remove in the form of methyl thiol that is minus SH CS3 this will be removed out and here the remaining will be get added and by the adding what happen here we get CS2 NH this C this bond will be break down here and we get C S CS3 one molecule will be here and here and CN now this new intermediate form now this intermediate when reacted with methyl amine CS3 NS2 then one molecule of hydrogen take this SCS3 and remove in the form of methyl thiol minus SH CS3 and this methyl amine group will get added on here and finally we have our final product CS3 CH2 S CH2 NH C here we have N CN and here we will get NH CS3 this NH CS3 will be get added and this methyl thiol group will be removed out this is our final product that is cimetidine So this is the synthesis of cementidine. What happened? Ethyl 5-methyl imidazole carboxylate reacted with the aluminium hydride, aluminium hydride, lithium aluminium hydride, Li AlH4. By this is used for the reduction purpose. And here we will get CS2OH that is methanol group. When it reacted with the amino ethyl thiol. Then we get the intermediate product. When it reacted with the dimethyl and cyanodithiol immunocarbonate, we get new intermediate. And finally, when it reacted with the methyl amine, then we get the final product, cimetidine. This is the synthesis of cimetidine.